This video is also for educational and entertainment purposes and all content used within is protected by fair use. Ooh. Hello internet, welcome back to my channel, my name is Alex, otherwise known as Pugapill across all my social platforms. And about a month ago, I watched the Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 19... In fact, that original Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie was so good that I actually had to take a 10 minute break during the climax of the movie. Because I felt so uncomfortable and I didn't want to watch any more of it. You think this is a party? Oh. <laughs> Sign me the fuck out, please. Now here we are, 50 years later, I still look the same age as I am, and we're getting a requel, which is like a classic trope that's happening now, where they do a sequel, but it's a soft reboot on, like, the original movie. I have my reservations, and I am very concerned that this movie will be pretty bad. <laughs> I don't know how you can honestly top a movie that made me almost go and spew afterwards. And then there's this whole thing that doesn't make sense to me already, where they're having the original main character from the first movie come back 50 years later, she's an old woman now, but Leatherface in that movie would have to have been like a 40 year old at the time in the original film, so does that mean it's a new Leatherface in town attacking again or is it the same one but he's suddenly 90 and still able to run around and everything i don't know when you think about it like that similar to michael myers i guess it's like does age just not affect these characters in the slightest shut your trap I'm very aware that they are going for the Halloween 2018 soft reboot remake sort of feel. I don't I don't know how it's going to play out. One other thing that I want to mention that is completely unrelated to Texas Chainsaw Massacre or anything, but it could be a massacre in itself later on, is that I haven't had a bowel movement in six days. Right now it's actually approaching close to a week. So what I have popped in my mouth... That's what she said! <laughs> What I've just had probably five minutes prior to filming is two laxatives. So, you know, the movie might not be the only thing making me shit myself. So I'm just giving you a heads up because I don't want to be sitting here. And then the next second I'm not in the chair and you're like, okay, he's gone to a different chair. Uh, because he's, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, how are you going? I hope that little bit of information is really beneficial to you and you can tell your family, hey, this YouTuber I watched today had a laxative. You know what? If you're new to my channel, leave me a comment with how long you've gone without doing a poop. Anyways, I've got a glass of water because I'm uh, severely constipated at the moment, which is a great time, let me tell you, one of my favorite hobbies. I haven't got a bucket today because I don't expect this movie to be as sickening as the original. Let's go back to Texas, which is one thing I never thought I would ever say because why the fuck would I want to go there? And watch, um, I nearly said Final Destination. It's so weird that Netflix, out of all properties, got this and it didn't release in cinemas. In the summer of 1973, a few miles outside of Austin, Texas. Ah, uh, at least it's not as traumatizing as that opening... Oh, there we go, fuck you. <laughs> fuck off! I was gonna say it's not as traumatizing as that opening sequence in the first movie. She spoke of the horrors she saw that day. After hearing Hardesty's account, officials released this composite picture. What is this on the TV, a Netflix documentary? For the next hour, we'll take you on a journey into one of Texas's most... Whatever happened to her? Is she still alive? I'm so sad Franklin isn't in this. <sighs> she must have looked for that maniac for more than 30, 40 years. So, she, she found him. He was wearing a mask. Yeah, so it's the original Leatherface, who was already older than Sally. How does that work? Where are y'all headed? If you don't mind me asking. Harlow? Jack Harlow. So apparently the bus took a wrong turn like 20 miles back. Why out of all the places would you go to Texas? The only way to deal with an invasive species is to eradicate them. What? Sorry, big gun makes you uncomfortable. I've seen bigger. Well, uh, you haven't seen me yet. <laughs> well, Texas looks better than it did in 1974. <laughs> 
check out our post. It's blowing up. Giving birth to this crazy dream Mel and I had. 2,000 likes is blowing up. <laughs> okay, tell me when you get 10 likes, that is. He's sewing the Leatherface family. You can't twist me like that again. They don't pull over the psycho, but they stop us. Put your hands where they can see him. Oh man, you are an African American in Texas. <laughs> and who else you have in there? Just look. Call me if there are any issues. What do you mean? Isn't the number just triple zero or nine one one for you Americans? Our grandmother was actually from around around here. Is her grandma? Sally? Welcome to Harlow. I just see grass. <laughs> I, can, I can see the town. Ugh, what a shithole. There's a population of 10 birds? Oh. What? Uh. What, what was that? We have to just inspire more people to follow. We will. Is that Samara weaving? What the fuck is she doing in this? I don't know any of these other people and she's in this. This is a chance for people to start fresh somewhere without the, the violence and the madness. Oh, Christ. What is he doing here? What do you mean, what is he doing? What are you doing there? He might actually live there. You're tourists. Dante. <laughs> <laughs> that is not Samara weaving. That is Walmart brand Samara. So you guys are what, like a cult? We're the idealistic individuals who want to build a better world. Yeah, that's a cult. Kind of has a point. It is a cult. You should see this. Newsflash. We're in deep Texas. We have a bus full of potential investors on the way here. If they see this flag, they're not going to buy. Is it bad that I don't know what that flag means? And it just looks like a flag? I'm being completely honest. I have no idea what that flag means. Obviously something bad. Ah, shit. Hey. Uh. There was a dude sitting down there before. I promise there was a guy sitting there. I'm not hallucinating. Put a contract. What are you doing in our house? Is this the Leatherface house? I didn't realize- well, We thought this place was empty. I swear that was so secluded from everywhere else. It was just in the middle of nowhere. Now it's in a little town? Wish I'd known you all coming. I'd put my face on. What do you mean? You're, you're beautiful. You are radiant. I've housed boys and girls in need of a loving home. Oh no, okay. It's just an orphanage. I thought it was the actual house. The bank, um reclaimed this property months ago. You're not supposed to be here. You talking about that whole mix up with a bank? She is going to insult you and your boyfriend. Be very careful. That's been settled. This is still our house. I'm sorry, but- I've got a title that says otherwise. Do you mind if we see that? Oh my God, I hate this chick already. Do you mind if we see that? Um, because we're claiming the land. I don't have a problem with names. Oh, okay. That's what the flag means. Eee. There are shelters for the elderly. And, um, Shelter. I'm not going anywhere. You can't just walk into this place, see this old woman and go, there's retirement villages 500 kilometers away. We can get you there. You're going to send her into a shock and she's going to die. A woman your age shouldn't be on her own. <gasps> Oh, God. He needs special care. He doesn't do well outside, you understand? That is why I can't ever leave you. Oh, my God. What the fuck? It's all right. It's your boy. <sighs> Grab the oxygen. I told you you'd give her a heart attack or something? Old racist woman saw an African-American and had a fucking heart attack. <laughs> Jesus. You cannot tell me that's not Jack Black if his acting career went just completely the opposite way. That's Jack Black and the wrong pick of destiny. Did that not feel like a bad omen to you? This place is cursed now. I'm just gonna be honest, I'm already not invested in these main characters at all. Compared to the original movie, those characters were way more like interesting to watch. What's their goal? They want to renovate the town and make it livable. What what's their thing? You know, everyone is super excited. You guys did a great job promoting this. What is this? What are we promoting? She all right? Yeah, I think the heat is just getting to her a little bit. It's so hot out here. I need a little water. Well, the fact that she just sent a grandma to a morgue. That's not good at all. Sheriff, I think she croaked. Son of a bitch. Mum's gonna be a new staple piece on Leatherface's wall real quick. Hey. Oh boy, you should not have done that. 
Oh, what the fuck? Oh my fucking god! That's a kill I've never ever seen before. What the hell's going on? That one I have. Out of all the things to run into, you run into the one tractor in Texas. <laughs> well, this was built in 1910 and once counted President Howard Taft as a distinguished guest. Wow, that is fascinating. I am not bidding for this. Why are you such a nihilist? Anyone who blasts diesel into the atmosphere like that truly gives zero fucks about, like, anything. Oh my god. Okay, bitch, listen up. Do you use a mobile phone as an influencer? Do you plug that mobile phone into an electrical power socket? See where I'm going with this? You can't care for the environment if you're still going to bed and plugging your phone into a phone charger. Been shot at. Clearly not well enough. Oops, um, maybe shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I didn't know that before I said what I said before, okay? The old lady just died, exclamation mark. Laughing eyes, crying eye face emoji. Damn. Double homicide. We just killed her. Heart disease killed her. Ah, bro, I think you two may have had something to do with that. Her heart disease didn't go, oh yeah, now's the perfect time to croak it. Well, ugh. Her boyfriend's like, old women die all the time. Why do you think they're called old? Yeah, legit, you crashed into the only, like, tractor fucking farm machine in all of Texas. <laughs> He's definitely not a first responder anymore, because he wouldn't respond at all. <laughs> How is this the same dude? We've got a crazy man covering off a face that should be 80, 90 years old. Over. It is scary how barren and just open some of these spaces really are, though. <laughs> Yuck. Holding it up like a trophy. Nice. Motherfucker, how does that just fit on your head? That is a different sized head. Oh my god, he is wearing his mum's face. I said it as a joke! <laughs> Dude! Come on, man! I said that as a joke! Ah! Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you, you ugly motherfucker. At least the kills are brutal so far. At least they aren't underwhelming. You know what Randy Meek says? In a sequel, the kills have got to be better. They've got to be more gory. That's what the audience wants. Having some lunch. <laughs> what are you, are you gonna try and drive? Oh, I was gonna say, there's no way you were driving that away. That is destroyed. Where is he? I'm concerned for my health. There he is. I don't want to be that guy, but he was able to just break a dude's arm in half and then push it into his throat, but he can't push a knife into a person's stomach. Hey man, you can get yourself a wig now. He's playing hide and seek with me. <laughs> I've got to try and pick where he is. Hello, motherfucker. That's an awesome shot. I really like that, actually. Are you sure you're not going to stay for the party? Yeah, I'm just not really feeling well. I don't care about this communal party thing. Let's get back to the Leatherface man. We didn't kill anybody. She was trespassing on our property. You sure that was your property? Huh? Please just give us back the keys. Show me you have the deed to that house. You'll have them back. Mmm. I reckon they don't have the deed. Some deeds took longer than others to process. Please tell me we didn't kick her out of her own house. We didn't. You idiots. Uh, idiots. Do you know that? R relax for a second. I'll never relax until I'm sure we're on the right side of this. You're the one that instigated it, dumbass. You went in there saying, this isn't your property anymore, blah, blah, blah. And now you're like, oh, we might have done something bad and killed a woman. Do you mind if we see that? Hey there. I'm calling for a heart stick. Damn, Sally. You've uh, taken that trauma to the next level. Hey, I can't believe they brought Laurie Strode back. This actually happened to one of my friends, Laurie, four years ago, actually. She heard about Halloween 2018 and went, Fuck, I need to make a comeback too. 
As cool as that is, that does not make any sense at all. That means Leatherface should be realistically dead. That dude was a little bit overweight, fucking in his 40s. He should be dead by now. He shouldn't still be roughly the same age. <laughs> the other thing that's got me is that you're telling me Texas, or this town anyway, had so much property development over the last 40 years from where it was originally that they still only have a population of 1,000? Why the fuck would you spend all that money to upgrade it then? Doesn't make any sense. What they really should have done with this is have these influencers go to the house and it's not this big town now, but they go to the house like these haunted house YouTubers that go there, and that's what happens. Um, that writing is too scribbly for me to read. <laughs> but, uh, I assume you fucked up. Oh, I hate that. He looks like fucking Patrick Starfish. I, I don't know how, but he does. Rest in peace, Dante. You were a good character for all of 15 minutes. I want to know more about his character. Why is he like this? What trauma has he been through? Though, in saying that, I haven't seen any of the sequels, so I could be wrong and that has been explained. Seems to me they just use him as this killer. They don't explain anything. Seven years of bad luck, your chainsaw might not work next time. How often does it rain in Texas? It looks too sunny to rain there ever. <laughs> ah, hiding under the bed. One of the worst spots you could possibly ever hide in a situation like this. If I was led the face, first place I'd look is under the bed. Damn, his mum just died and he's already getting onto the house renovations. <laughs> I'll make my own will, mummy! <laughs> boom, boom! Come on, no way. He had a meat cleave. He had a meat cleaver lodged into his neck and then pulled out. It's alright, he's just gonna rinse the blood off so he'll actually survive. Dante? Hey! I'm talking to you. Dude, he had a, like, cleaver in his neck. He's not going to be able to speak very well. <gasps> oh, it was in his mouth! <laughs> yeah, he definitely can't reply. What happened to him? Oh my god. Dude got the Heath Ledger look for free. Who did this to you? Who do you think did this to him, you dumbass? Who's the one guy in town that's known for killing people? You can't say you didn't know either. There was a whole news story documentary at the start of the film about it all. Can't say you didn't know. <laughs> Ew. Ah, he's grabbing the chainsaw. Okay, why did he hide it in the wall? You give up on his life of crime after slaughtering four innocent young teenagers? Nah, that life's not for me, you know. Did all my killing in the 70s. I'm gonna retire. I also stupidly hadn't even clicked that he hadn't used the chainsaw 40 minutes into the movie yet. <laughs> Holy fuck! Yeah, that's not good. Um, don't think you'll be, uh, getting away from that. Here I was thinking you were a relative to Leatherface, like what happened in the original. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, there is one thing you can guarantee when you watch a movie like this. It's brutal. Surely that guy has a migraine after that. Sally. Think you might be a little bit late to this one. He escaped 30 minutes ago. <laughs> the flies. Ew. Where's Michael? Where's Michael? <laughs> yeah, that is going to haunt my fucking dreams for a little bit. 
You know what it is with these movies? It's not the kills. It's the imagery of the kills. That's what's truly scary about these movies. How he poses them, what he makes them look like, that's terrifying. I'd be heading back to retirement real quick, Sally. Stay in your seat, please. What's happening? Just trust me. You know what the worst part is? I'm so uninvested in these actual characters here that I don't know any of their names. <laughs> Apart from the one from the original movie. Oh Safe to probably say that Dante got a mouthful. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Haha! I'm actually still alive! You're not taking my keys! <laughs> yeah, I bet you wish you didn't kill the grandma now, don't you? <laughs> Whoa! Fucking hell! See, the thing I was gonna say was, it's one guy this time. Just run and escape. It's not like a whole family of them. That's something I actually miss, really. It's not a whole family, it's just the one dude. Can't have Texas Chainsaw Massacre without the chainsaw. Or the Texas. Or the massacre. Yeah, yuck. <laughs> the sound design's nice, I will admit that. The floorboard's creaking in my ears. I don't like that at all. Leatherface would have been fucked if Grandma decided to upgrade to carpet. Just roll to one of the sides. Oh my god, is that sewage? Uh, you know what? It's not Patrick Starfish he looks like. He looks like the masks from, um, the start of The Dark Knight. Those Joker Jester masks. But, like, demented. I mean, at least it's raining. Clears the sewage off pretty easily. Get us out of here. Somehow Leatherface is gonna be able to stop the bus. Ready? This is gonna be a bloody bloodbath, isn't it? Dude, where are you going? Yeah, this is about to get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> you are about to get an insane body count. It was a freak show. <laughs> Try anything and you cancel, bro. Oh my fucking god, are you serious? Deserved! Deserved. Oh, I hate when they try and integrate shit like this. I get why they've done it, especially around influences in a town, but fuck me. Oh, fuck it all. Jesus Christ. Leg going the way. Hey, mate. Leg day. Whoop. I just want to say, you realize he has a chainsaw, right? Putting yourself in the toilet in the van is not gonna save you. He can just put that right through the door, idiots. Ah, oh, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> Penetrated it in the wrong way. All I'm gonna say is, I feel terrible for dead meat. Have fun with this one, buddy. That's one way to escape, isn't it? You guys forgot he had a chainsaw for a second, didn't you? Here's who <laughs> can't say because of copyright. <laughs> you think a little corkscrew hurt that man? Absolutely not. He's made of metal and plot armor. So all those kills in the van, that's a squad wipe, yes? That is a whole team wipe. It's him, isn't it? Yes, it is, Laurie. Leatherface. Michael. Please go! 50 years I've been waiting for this night. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna try and pull this? You've stolen that directly from Halloween. Sally, no, you haven't been waiting 50 years for this moment. You've just been to the cinema recently. Next up, she's gonna fucking chant Evil Dies Tonight. It's all right. Sally has plot armor as well. She's a main character. You know, Laurie Strode survived as long as she has. So is Sally... Fucking main character last name. Even entering the old Michael's home. <laughs> The comparisons are fucking crazy. 
I swear to God, if she says, remember me. Pamela. Jerry. Franklin? And Frank. <laughs> Say my name. Not the right context. Say you know what you did to my friends. You don't remember me. You have dementia or something. So that's why we need to know more about him. Is his drive just to kill people? Does he have... Well, he obviously has mental issues, doesn't he? He lives in Texas. I'm not gonna let him kill you, okay? I promise. What the fuck? Why is he suddenly here? He was just in the house! <laughs> that editing was absolutely horrendous. Remember me now? Oh, there's the line. I'm the one who got away, and I'm here to make sure you don't. Did he just let her get out of the orphanage and what the fuck? Good news, if Leatherface manages to cut your shotgun in half, you have a sawn off. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, nice. Good let. Oh. Oh, God! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Sally tried the whole Laurie Strode thing and it just didn't work for her. As I've said throughout the video, isn't that dude like 80, 90 years old realistically? There is no way he ran out like that. He would've got puffed after two steps. I mean, good job to Sally for giving it a shot though. Uh, literally. I can tell you right now, I would not be uh, up to facing that guy. I would be running and crying and shitting. Actually, probably not shitting and crying. I gotta say, at this time frame in the original movie, I had to pause it for a break because I was so uncomfortable. I am not feeling that experience with this at all. I'm not even unsettled. That first movie though, man, fuck, the visuals, the cinematography, the set, ugh, yuck. It's something I'm gonna not, never forget. I'm sorry for what I did to your mama. I don't think Sorry's gonna cut it anymore. You literally killed his mum because you were like, oh, this house is mine. You actually said, get off my lawn, but you're like 20 years old. <laughs> Question, how does Leatherface have such a dad bod when all he does is run around with a chainsaw? He should be the fittest person in Texas. He'll never stop haunting you. There is no way she's still alive. She had a chainsaw through her stomach and was held up with it. You know, at the age Sally and Leatherface are in this movie, realistically, a sprained ankle should do it for them. I don't know if you realize, but this old woman that was helping you out just got fucking slaughtered. You think your 20 year old ass is going to be able to do anything? <laughs> Come on, you can pull it out. It's about drive, it's about power. Where is she? In the th old theatre? There's gonna be something fucked in the water, isn't there? Oh, no. Ah, You could add something really fucked, like there was just a pool of bodies in there. That would have been really unsettling, but not just an empty body of water. You tried it, didn't work. Finally, a realistic chainsaw in this movie where it runs out of petrol. What the fuck? Is he a dolphin? That's what? Was he torpedoing up towards the water? How did he dive up like that? Oh, far out. The one thing I can commend this movie for is the Leatherface kills and the brutality. That's top tier. The rest of it is down here, where whatever this means where my hand is. What's with the weird framey slow-mo? It's not the 2000s anymore, guys. We actually have advanced technology. Also, for a movie that Synopsis said it focused on influencers, it has no influencer sort of thing apart from the Instagram live when he was in the van. And what significance does this girl's school shooting even play into the plot? Nothing. <laughs> that somehow he's going to live through that. Yet Dante doesn't. Trouble earthquake. Yep, We're we having an earthquake. 
That motherfucker dolphin dived out of the water. I promise he'll be back. Are you okay? Are you okay? No. Dumb question, really. <laughs> Were you expecting her to say, yes, I'm completely fine. I was really excited for this to actually happen. Hello. The hat's there. <laughs> You are not the new Sally! Oh my god! Really? I can't even remember what your name is. No way this is how the movie ends. They just drive off and they're safe. That is the most pointless movie ever. I told you he would be back! You too! Got a little bit ahead of yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was kind of a dope final shot, but that was so pointless. What was that? What's with the credit sequence? It was so much more effective when it just ended and was completely silent. Also, just because I saw his name pop up, I do not look like a young Tobe Hooper or Toby Hooper, whatever it is. I don't look, look. I don't look like the guy. Yeah, I need to know how that dude survived getting a chainsaw up his like neck and then almost drowning. Is that the old house? What was that? Oh. God, that normally happens at the start of the movies. All right, so that was Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022, or you can just call it Netflix Mainstream Massacred, my boy. <laughs> oh.